Thank you for tuning in. This is a video here where I will show you how to uh, harvest sour sap leaves, dry them, and make them into tea leaves, then make them into powder. So here we have these sour sap leaves. We about to cut these leaves down and we are gonna make some powder with these. Now sour sap leaves are a powerhouse of nutrition, anti-inflammatory properties. We got all of that. And it actually got a good taste to it when you make it into tea, but we gonna make, uh, we gonna make the loose leaves, but we are gonna make it into powder so we can put it in capsules. So we can take these every day. So now, you see how green and uh, luxurious and luscious the uh, leaves are. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, keep picking these. Now we try to find uh, the best looking leaves, ones that don't have any spots on it. Uh, we chose the best looking leaves minimum spots or no spots on it um if i guess one of them might have a little spot here and there but the ones that we found are uh clear of any spots so we just got the real fresh all around green all around perfect leaves so we're just collecting them here and uh as you collect them you will cut them at the end of the leaves uh you could pull them off if you want but we just prefer to cut them off so we don't disturb the tree too much. So once we get the leaves, uh, we'll put them in a, uh, you can wash them in a container or a pot bowl. So we just rinse off any impurities that's on it. Um, you know, insects, ants, uh, dust or any debris from outside. You just want to rinse them off. Make sure uh, none of that is included on the leaves because we don't want to ingest that stuff. We just want the properties and the potency of these sour sap leaves. So as we drenched them in water, we drained it, but we go ahead and give it just an extra rinse off after. That's just what we do here. Um, you don't need to rinse it twice, but we just like doing it just to get any remaining. And um, it's not stuck in the water. We have it in the strainer. so any remaining uh, impurities that might be on the leaves would just drain out. So now we have uh, the AC filter. So we're gonna use this to dry our leaves. We wanna uh, air dry our leaves with room temperature in a room that has some type of airflow. Uh, once we put the leaves on this, we will put it on one of our wire rack shelves. That way air can pass through them. So this is the amount of leaves that we're going to use uh, for this video here. Uh, this is the finished uh, product of us rinsing off after harvesting these leaves. And we're going to go ahead and dry these on the AC filter. So here we're going to place the leaves on the filter. Uh, we want them to be a single layer. If you see any leaves that are uh, crammed up on each other or like uh, inside of each other, like a, a, a deck of folded cards, you just want to go ahead and separate those and place them all uh, evenly on the uh, AC filter. So after a few days, we have the dried leaves. As you can see here, these leaves are dry. Uh, they are ready to be broken down into loose leaves or uh, crush them down into tea leaves. And uh, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna go further and make them into powder. So uh, some of these leaves we're gonna use for the powder, uh, for the example here in the video. But you can see how the leaves do change color when they dry, so don't be afraid of that. As long as they still keep that green 
look uh, it's not really dark uh, right here we have our pulverizer so we're going to uh, add our leaves to our pulverizer this works a little bit better to me uh, than the blender this actually concentrates on breaking down the hard uh, dried leaves so with this polarizer we just place it at the top drop them in there uh, one by one but you can repeat this also because not all the leaves are going to fit in the size that I have they have bigger sizes you can look that up I will leave uh, a link in the description below on where you can get these pulverizers so as we close the pulverizer uh, it has some safety features here where you line them up and then uh, you would clamp them down so here uh, we're just going to go and start this up. All right, now that we all done here with that pulverizer, here is a sample size of what was created from those leaves. As you can see here, a uh, nice green color. Uh, this is the dried leaves pulverized into powder of the sour sap leaves. Uh, this is what we're going to use here uh, to capsule and uh, that's all we got for today sour sap leaves powder all right so that concludes our video here on how to make the sour sap leaves powder please uh, comment below any questions like and subscribe thank you for joining us here for this video and we'll see you on the next one